And you can do the calculations and you can see the warp drive. You can construct wormholes that connect distant regions of the universe, which you could use as time machines. Um, you can do all that in the theory, but in nature, you'd have to have the right stuff to do it. And you can do it, you can do it, so you can, you can write down that geometry. It's called a, a warp drive geometry, I think it's called, it's in textbooks. So you can do that to, to have a warp drive. The question becomes, what sort of stuff would you have to actually put into the real universe to make it warp in that way? And um, it, it always, it usually turns out that it's the kind of stuff that doesn't exist, right? <laughs> but it has properties. It's right. sort of matter or sort of energy that has properties that do not exist in nature as far as we can tell. But you can still write the geometry down in Einstein's theory. So if you so had if you the significant stuff. force or mass or whatever it is, if you had that yeah. stuff that doesn't exist, it is a concept that... that, that yeah, so the geometry that. exists.